Hello everyone, my name is Sujit and I am a 360 photographer based here in Tokyo. Today we are going to do some panoramic photography at Tokyo Station using the new camera KuCam 3 and I will share with you my entire editing process as well. So let's go. So hello everyone, let's start our editing process. So as you can see on your screen, we have our 8 DNG files and one JPEG file. First thing first, let's combine all these DNG files together using the application called Raw Plus. We have the same path selected. Let's render this. And we have our DNG file here which is all these 8 DNG files combined into a single DNG file. Now let's start our editing. So we will right click, open in the camera raw. First thing first, what I always like to do is get rid of the default sharpening. For some reason, it's always on. Now let's start with our basic tweaks. Let's get rid of the highlights. Let's increase the shadow a bit, maybe around 35. Now let's bring up the black so that we have an HDR feel to it. We have here. Adding bit of a contrast, maybe around 20 bring up some whites and add some clarity around 25 let's see before and after before after we have the de nice details in the sky let's also fix the temperature because we have little pink over here so. yeah. and now finally let's increase the exposure maybe we can go down in the highlights and whites again or oh, let's see let's, yeah let's reduce whites to 10 let's increase the saturation a bit and let's do a little bit of specific color correction now what i see is red is a little bit of too saturated so we can reduce the red a little bit Let's increase the orange yeah, on the building. Let's have a little bit of saturation on the sky as well. And let's reduce the luminance on the sky. Let's fix the chromatic aberration. let's keep expo just one stop up altogether so let's compare with our before and after so let's save this let's do it png 16 bit uh, location is same save you can do done so let's stitch our PNG in KuCam Studio. Now 
Okay, so now let's fix the nadir. Uh, we will open this image into Photoshop. I noticed that there is a color cast over here. So let's just get rid of that as well. Let's again open it in the camera raw. Using our masking brush tool, let's just roughly select this area. I think this is better. We want we can add a little bit here as well. Let's say this is okay. Let's unlock the layer. Let's go to spherical new panorama from the selected layer. Are you sure? Yes. Let's go down. Let's select the area which we want to patch. Let's get rid of me. Generative fill. Agree. Generate. If you do this manually, it will take a really long time. But as you can see, by doing this generative fill, it fixes the area quite nice. I think the first one looks good, nice. Let's go back to layer. Right click on the paint over and merge it down. Now let's export on save our panorama. As you can see, this was our original where we had a little bit of color cast and we got rid of that one. Now let's denoise this image by using Topaz Denoise AI. We will keep everything in the auto settings for now. As you can see, we have, we are getting a sharper image and it's been denoised. You can see details on his T-shirts are getting sharpened, all lines are getting sharpened, we are happy with this. So let's save, save as the same source folder. And that's it, our image is done, ready to be shared on Google Street View or with the family and friends. This is my complete process from start to finish. Hope you guys enjoyed, see you in the next video.